Hey guys! So while this pandemic has taken my plant collecting hobby to a whole new level, I've been spending some time looking for a solution to provide heat and humidity to keep some of my more demanding plants going over winter. I came across the IKEA greenhouse cabinet group and just got right into it. I chose the fabric core as it's like a huge terrarium that beautifully displays my collection. It's become a real statement piece in my home. What's great about it is that with artificial light, you can really put them anywhere. I love that it brightens up this dark corner of my place. I can't help but stop and admire them every time I walk past. All of the lighting from the top is neatly tucked away, hidden in the bezel. There's a good amount of space up there, so I like that it looks like it's part of the cabinet and you can't see it until you closely look up there. I found these LED strip lights to be the best option considering the size of this cabinet. It's dimmable and it has a few timer options as well. They come in pairs and I've got four at the top and one on each side at the front. I find that it provides enough light for my plants. I leave them on for 12 hours each day. I have two USB fans at the top and one at the bottom to keep the air in the cabinet circulating. I even painted those to match the colour of my cabinet. It's important to have good airflow to prevent mould and mildew from occurring. The grid is secured with neodymium magnets which are very strong. I have one at each corner and I find that it is more than enough to hold my setup and also allows me to hang a few plants off it. So now onto humidity. I found the best option for me was this humidifier by Bure. It does the job while being small and compact. I designed this acrylic box and had it custom made. It allows the humidifier to be suspended so I have more space for more plants of course. I love how easy it is to add water and that you can use any size water bottle with it. So if I decide to go away for a short trip, I can use a larger bottle to keep the humidifier going. It's plugged into a smart power board which I can control with my phone. I can also set a schedule for it to run for a few minutes every hour. And I find this is enough to keep the humidity levels going. When humidity is right, area roots on some plants start to become fuzzy. On the other hand, when humidity is low, the leaves on some plants start to crispen up on their edges. To maintain the humidity, I sealed the edges with some foam tape. It comes in a row and it's got an adhesive back, so I just trimmed off how much I needed and applied it to the edges. While it doesn't completely seal it off, I find it's good enough. I've lined the bottom with a protective film layer to keep it clean. To raise the temperature, I'm using this reptile heat cable and underneath I have this stick-on heat mat. I find that these two combined increases the temperature inside by 6 degrees Celsius. The heaters are connected to a thermostat that will cut the power off if it overheats. A hole in the base was drilled for the cables to run through and I had this grommet 3D printed. It only lines the edges but also reduces the opening size to prevent the moisture from escaping. You'll want to find a hole saw for sheet metal and a drill. Once you've got this, cutting the hole is super easy. You're probably wondering where all the cables are. The power runs from the base to supply the lights and fans at the top. My husband designed and 3D printed this shell that cleverly encases the cables. It's got openings for the fan and lighting controls as well, and stays on with double-sided tape. I also spray painted it the same colour as the cabinet so that it blends in. I like that it looks like it came with the cabinet and you don't notice it straight away. The lights and fans that I use are USB, so my hub is held on with a Velcro, as with the other cables as well. Inside I have cable clips to keep the cables neat and organised.
and a cable box organizer hides the clutter and wiring mess with the power board that I'm using. And this cable tidy hides all of the cables, making it look really neat. I love how plants are displayed in store, so I decided to do something similar. I arranged my plants using these acrylic risers. I notice a lot of people use shelves, but as I wanted to keep hanging plants in there, I decided that these were the best option that allowed me to arrange the rest vertically as well. I personally prefer this look and I can't help but stare at it every time I walk past. So I had some negative space and I decided I needed one clear floating shelf. This was really easy to assemble. The pads of screws have a strong adhesive and the shelf screws onto it. I think this is used for bathrooms, so it's purpose built for glass or tiles. The shelf screws on top and it's more than strong enough to hold a plant on. Overall, it was fun to put together and I'm really happy with the result. I love that it's not as big as a real greenhouse as I don't have a large amount of space to set one up. I'm glad I can still keep and admire my plants indoors. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll leave you with a tour of my greenhouse residence.